morning, Wolfpack. I am Zori. And I'm Trevor, and we are here to bring you all of the important Wolfpack news. Our big story today is about our upcoming ASB elections. That's right. It's time to select next year's ASB leaders of the school. For next year's seventh grade position, we have 10 students running for three positions, which means we will have a preliminary vote. That means we have to vote. We have a vote to narrow it down to six candidates before the big election. The primary election will be on Thursday at lunch for all current sixth graders for next year's seventh grade officer positions. All this week we'll be showing sixth grade speeches who are running for seventh grade officers positions. Here are two candidates. Hi, my name is Elizabeth and I'm a sixth grader. I love going to Chinook and I hope you do too. Today I would like to explain why I would be an effective ASB officer my seventh grade year. I'd be an effective ASB officer for many reasons. First, I want to make Chinook a big family where everybody feels welcome. I want kids to be excited to come to school and I know that they will have a good time and be learning in a friendly environment. Second, I would help improve the student to teacher relationship. I want kids to go to school and learn things and understand that the teacher what the teacher is teaching. I want every classroom to have a comfortable environment where kids can feel like they can go to their teachers and tell or ask them anything. Also, I would encourage after school activities, sports and clubs to learn new skills and work as a team. Next, I have multiple leadership skills such as taking leadership classes, helping with my six siblings at home, and I'm a good with big groups. I'm the band president and I'm often section leader and I also help my mother with PTO activities and help them with creativeness and helping hands. I think that I have leadership skills that can help Chinook be the best school in the universe and help other kids be leaders. I would take other ideas, think creatively, and help others in need. Last, I would show school spirit. I would show school spirit by participating in socials and spirit week. I would also attend after school activities slash clubs, sports games, and encourage others to do the same. I think that Chinook's biggest problem is having groups and being mean. People are making fun of others for not being like them. I would fix this by doing more web web activities activities, help different groups interact and have more students participating assemblies. I would fix the problem for kids being mean by giving out more Chinook bucks to kids who are being nice so the kids who are being mean feel like they need to be nice and what they're doing is not the right thing to do. I would be an effective ASB officer for these reasons. Hi Wolfpack, I'm Zori Rulo and I'm running to be one of your next your 7th grade ASB officers. I want to become one again because it's fun, challenging, and I love the feeling of people looking up to me, or in my case, down at me. What would I do to make Chinook better? I would try to let students have some freedom. I would listen to the students' needs and try to do something about them. I would also make sure everyone is having a good time at school. What experience have I had with leadership? I've already been an ASB officer, and in fifth grade I was a leopard leader, and everyone in the school looked up to me and the other leaders. How will I show school spirit and get others to follow my example? I will always have a positive attitude. I will try to make others laugh, be kind to everyone, help those who would want it, and treat everyone how I want to be treated. What do I think is Chinook's biggest problem is? I think our school's problem is having our phones out when we aren't supposed to. I think ha um, having phones at school are a good thing, but every good thing has a bad thing. And the bad thing about having phones at school is there is a temptation to be on it. A way to maybe solve this issue is to have little boxes at the, in every classroom so when kids enter the room, they will check in their phones and their main priority will be to learn. And if they have permission, they can be on their phones. And as William Shakespeare once said, and though she may be little, she is fierce.
In sports, we have several home games this week. Spring sports pictures are scheduled for track and softball on Thursday, April 13th. Baseball on Friday, April 14th. Get your pictures packets from the coaches. Track and Field hosts Horse Heaven and McLaughlin on Wednesday, April 12th at Southridge School Track. This is our first home meet. Come out and support the Wolves. Wednesday, April 12th, the A 7th and 8th teams travel to Park to play the Cubs, and the B 7th team will welcome the Chief Joe Warriors at home. Baseball A 7 and 8 teams will host Carmichael on our home field on Thursday, April 13th. The B 7 and 8 teams travel to Park the same day. Wolves Baseball 7 and 8 Orange team will play against Carmichael on Monday, April 17th at Carmichael. Let's go, Wolves! We have just one birthday today. Now here's today's lunch menu. It's lunchtime, time for me to eat. It's lunchtime, hope it's something sweet. We got great nachos! Always be your best and nothing less. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. 